हेलो चैंपियंस वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द सीएसआर नेट जुलाई 2025 टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल दोस क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस फ्रॉम द पार्ट बी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन फॉलो एंड सब्सक्राइब माय YouTube चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द कंप्लीट सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन पार्ट बी एंड पार्ट सी इंटीग्रल इक्वेशंस एलपीपी मार्कोफ चेन कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन एंड मेनी मोर लेक्चर इन दिस प्लेस for more details and the updated video you can follow and subscribe my youtube channel now uh, uh, in this part b differential equation questions there are basically a two part one is the this question and second one is related to the sum level problem all these questions are very very easy and you can get the answers within the within a one minute fine based on your speed you can get your answer in the one minutes so the similar kind of the question i already explained in my last py questions on py cubes on the differential equations if you watch my this lecture iit jam and the gate all these last 17 years papers the same question i have already solved what is the given statement is the given differential equation is y double dash if i write in the terms of say firstly uh, say p of y dash plus q of y fine and one solution say y1 is equal to u this is my one solution is known to you fine if we know the one solution is known to us can you find the second solution because this is the your target is to find the general solution general solution will be c1 of y1 plus c2 y2 where y2 will be what is the y2 is u into v where u is my first solution and v is found by 1 over u square integration of minus p into dx where p is the coefficient of the y dash if you compare the given differential equation can you find the p p is my minus 2 divided by x square plus 1 over x into x is it true i can multiply i can take the lcm it will be 2 plus x divided by x this is my p now can you find the value of the v 1 over u square u what is the u u is my x this 1 x square e raised to power can you integrate them minus minus plus it is 2 over x plus 1 can you integrate this part so this integration will be 1 over x square it's a 2 log x 2 log x will be x square into e raised to power x x square and x square cancel the answer will be e raised to power x therefore the second solution will be u u is my one solution that is given as x into e raised to power x so hence the final solution becomes the final sol solution becomes c1 of x plus c2 x into e raised to power x so clearly say this is the e raised to power x the first part say e raised to power minus 2x second part is also cancel if you open them it's a only e raised to power x but it is not e raised to power so d option is the right answer of the problem fine this is a simple way you can solve the problem of this differential equation there is one more way how you can solve the second method there is again the another shortcut tricks you can write the differential equation here say 2 over x square plus 1 over x x into y dash minus y fine so let's start with the first option if my given differential equation has e raised to power my or or you can say the third option third option say x a plus b x fine what is the meaning of e raised to power x that means m is my one corresponding to the auxiliary equation so i can say y is equal to e raised to power x is a solution if i convert it into the m square that is my one because my auxiliary equation m is my one this is 2 over x square into x into 1 minus 1 is it a zero they are not zero therefore e raised to power x is not the solution if you look for the first case it will be ax plus bx into e raised to power minus 2x so similarly you can substitute this is the first derivative but that will take some time lengthy the better is you can use my previous formula of 1 by u square and so Look at the second question. This is a term level problem, so it's a very very simple. 
always remember what is the shortcut tricks i have explained you in my term level problem if you look about this lecture boundary value term level problem as i told you whenever the differential equation is of this form whenever it's a zero is less than of l such that y of zero is zero and y of l is my zero then you can write the value of lambda is directly as n pi over l whole square if you watch my this lecture definitely you will enjoy it fine so first of all the given differential equation is not of this form so i can firstly simplify this can you find the differentiate x y double dash plus 1 into y dash plus lambda over x into y is equal to 0 i can multiply both side by x it is a x square y double dash plus x y dash plus lambda y is equal to 0 clearly say this equation becomes cauchy Euler equation. Once it's a Cauchy-Euler equation, you can write in in terms of the x e raised to the power z. So that differential equation will changes into y double dash plus one minus one y dash plus lambda y. Fine. How you can see I as I told you earlier in my differential equation lecture, whenever you have the differential equation of I just write a x square. b of x so this is the cauchy euler equation fine after substituting the value of the x is equal to e raised to power z this differential equation reduces to a y double dash plus b minus a y dash plus c y is equal to 0 if you compare them the value of the a is my 1 b is my 1 c is equal to lambda from the given cauchy euler equation So if I substitute here, it's the one, one minus one zero and lambda one. Fine. So therefore, your given differential equation becomes. So so your differential equation becomes y double dash plus lambda y is zero. And by using the substitution, what is my initial condition? When x is equal to one, z will be zero. Fine. And when x is equal to e raised to power two z, the value of the z will be two pi. Now clearly say it satisfied my given requirements. Therefore, the value of the lambda is my n pi over l two pi minus zero. Fine. So that number will be n square over four. Now you can substitute in the given requirement. Your target is to find the one over lambda n. N varies from one to infinity. It's a four over n square. Four is outside summation one over n square. And do you know the value of one by this number is always pi square divided by six. So answer is four pi square over six, two pi square over three. That is the second is my right answer of the problem. So you can see it's a very very simple way you can solve both the differential equation questions. And basically these two questions already explained in this boundary value problems and the p y questions on the differential equation lecture agar aapne abhi tak nahi dekha you can go and watch it again till then you can see the various lecture like partial differential equation integral equations of the csn at july 2025 solutions i hope you can like comment and share this video with your friends happy learning always best wishes to the everyone